Day four of the Erica Murray murder trial has wrapped up in Worcester. Today, the court heard from Murray herself, admitting to giving birth to five children in the bathroom and hiding them from her boyfriend, their father. Iowa to Sue supporter Kate Walsh was in court all day. She joins us now live with the disturbing new details that emerged today. Kate. Mike, for hours today, we heard not just from witnesses, but from Erica Murray herself. Now, she didn't take the stand, but we saw and heard her in video and audio, audio recordings from state police interrogations that occurred just days after her children were rescued from that Blackstone House of Horrors. And we want to warn you, you will find this information to be disturbing. Horrifying new details emerging in Worcester Superior Courtroom number 20 on day four of the Erica Murray murder trial. Murray is heard in state police audio recordings admitting to giving birth to three babies who were later found dead and two alive babies all in the bathroom of her house. Everybody in the house is sleeping? Mm -hmm. All right, so you gave birth, wasn't breathing. Did you take any type of life-saving measures? Did you CPR? Did you clear his way away? I didn't know what to do. Didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. So what'd you do? Exactly. Tell me exactly what you did. You remember? Just, did you cut the umbilical cord? Yeah. Okay. No sound at all, baby. Mm -hmm. Made no sound whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Murray is facing two murder charges in relation to the deaths of the babies found in the house. But here she says at least one was never alive and didn't really remember if any of the babies survived at all. She said she put at least one of the dead babies in a blanket in her two older children's bedroom closet. Murray is heard even laughing from time to time, such as when asked if her partner and the baby's alleged father, Ray Rivera, ever questioned a smell in the house. Ray would never say something smells in it. Nobody? No. Children this interview occurred on September 11th, 2014, about two weeks after police removed four living children from the Blackstone House of Horrors. Murray said she told her two older children, Ann Rivera, that she was simply babysitting their two younger girls who were then three years old and six months old. Now, Murray later said that she was ashamed that she put those dead babies in her closet. And really, this interview all began because police wanted to know more information about how no one outside that house knew of the two younger girls' existence and why only Murray knew that those babies were hers. We'll talk about that new at 6 tonight. Live in Worcester, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News. First, new details on today's testimony in the trial of Erica Murray, the woman charged with the murder of two babies found dead in her squalid Blackstone home five years ago. Live at 5, you heard what she told police when questioned about what happened. New at 6, the lengths prosecutors claim Murray went to to hide her children's identities. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh was in court for today's testimony. She joins us live from Worcester with the latest. Kate. And first, once again, we want to warn everyone that they could find these details to be disturbing. Today in court, the court was shown photos of the dead babies found in the closets of that Blackstone home back in 2014. And we also heard from audio recordings from state police of Erica Murray as she admitted to them that she gave birth to five babies in her bathroom in the middle of the night and two of them survived. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, why would you want anybody to know about them? This one of the few moments we hear Erica Murray show emotion in audio recordings of state police interviews with her just days after her four children were rescued from the Blackstone House of Horrors in 2014 and just one day after the first of three dead babies were found in her closet. Murray admitted to police that her older two children were born in the hospital and had seen a doctor, but her younger two daughters, who were three years old and six months old at the time, were born in the middle of the night in her bathroom without anyone, even her boyfriend, Ray Rivera, knowing about them. Were you afraid of something Raymond might do with this third pregnancy? Had he ever said anything to you in the past about having another child? He didn't want to have any more kids. Murray took desperate measures to hide the two alive girls, keeping them in their room, bringing them out only when the two older kids and Rivera went to school and work. Rivera would do all the grocery and clothes shopping, but Murray would buy the formula when she could get money from selling refurbished furniture. Murray said only recently Rivera asked who the babies were, and she told them she was babysitting them for a person she made up on Facebook. Erica Murray was also asked why she put the dead babies in a closet. She said she panicked and the state police asked her if that panic ever subsided. She said no and that she was ashamed. Live in Worcester, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.